Election day is now just five days away and Kern County voters have a lot of races to consider, including the races for California's 21st and 23rd U.S. Congressional Districts, which feature House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy facing challenger Kim Mangon and incumbent T.J. Cox facing challenger David Valadeo. 23 ABC spoke with Bakersfield College political science professor Alan Bowler to discuss what's at stake in the races. He says the race between McCarthy and Mangon is a surefire victory for Republicans but it doesn't guarantee McCarthy's spot as House Minority Leader. It will be up to House Republicans to vote on who their leadership will be in 2021. The race between Democrat T.J. Cox and Republican Valadeo is a rematch from 2018, where Cox edged out Valadeo by just 862 votes. This year is expected to be tight as well. The incumbent, the Democrat, is a new incumbent. He's only been there for two years which means he hasn't had a ton of time to really establish himself and get that incumbency advantage. And the person he's running against is the previous incumbent. So he has a lot of high rec you know, name recognition. He's a good candidate. We asked Bowler how likely it is that the House could be flipped Republican this year. He says because Republicans would need to regain 21 seats, that would be unlikely. In fact, he believes that it's more likely that the Democrats expand their majority. The Kern County Latino Task Force is adding three testimonies.